On my mark. Mark. T-minus one minute counting. Preliminary RP tank pressurization started. Check 395, 396. T-minus 45 seconds on my T mark. 50. Mark. And coming up on 30 seconds to launch. Warp TM, verify rocket cam switch to external pod for stage one ignition. Minus 30. T minus 20 seconds on my mark. Minus 20. Mark. T minus 10 seconds. Standing by for engine ignition. Eight, seven, six. Go Antares, go Cygnus. Four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Mark. We have ignition. We have liftoff. And we have liftoff of Antares beginning the journey of the G. David Lowe Cygnus cargo vehicle to the International Space Station. Nominal. TBC steering is nominal. Power is nominal. All systems behaving well at this point as Antares leaves the uh, Mars pad. Zero A is the wall of the on stage one performing well at this point. Attitude is nominal. Very minimal steering commands at this point in the mission. Antares is making its second flight on this uh, on this mission. We're sending Cygnus on its first journey of many to the International Space Station. Looks like they fixed the rocket cam and off. Looks like. Beautiful view. Propulsion, avionics, uh, guidance and steering systems are all behaving well at this point. We're getting uh, good downrange video. Very clear day to uh, fly out. One minute, 10 seconds since launch. And we're getting uh, nice, nice views of the uh, eastern shore as uh, we depart pad zero A. And there's 108, 100% power now. So we're made at 100% power level until uh, approximately four minutes into the mission. Mike Doris reported there that first stage will fire for approximately four minutes, propelling the launch vehicle to an altitude of approximately 113 kilometers or 70 miles. Three pressurization valves come on on the core now. BNG3 and the fuel tank pressurization system is now on as well as expected. Attitude, power, uh, main engine and steering systems all appear nominal at this point. Two minutes into the flight. Very, uh, very minimal steering commands at this point in the mission. Core pressures remain strong. Power buses look healthy. Engines remain uh, remain nominal at 100% power level. Attitude looks good. Again, very little steering uh, observed in the thrust vector control system on stage one. Core pressurization systems are uh, performing well at this point as we're uh, past uh, T plus 2 minutes 30 seconds. TBC is, uh, TBC is nominal again with very small steering commands at this point. Approaching 3 minutes into the flight, the stage 1 uh, uh, throttling should begin about uh, 3 minutes 24 seconds uh, after launch. It's a clear day, a great shot of Antares traveling downrange. Engines remain at 100%. Mixture ratio targets are uh, very close to nominal at this point. Uh, valves VNO4, 5, and 6 in the LOX tank pressurization system have come on. Core pressures uh, remain healthy at this point. Altitude passing 250,000 feet. 50 miles in altitude now, traveling about uh, 7,200 miles per hour. Remain nominal. Stage one engine shutdown should occur at three minutes, 53 seconds. Engines outboard in preparation for the main engine cutoff event. That'll happen uh, close to uh, T plus four minutes. Miko in roughly 10 seconds.
At Miko, uh, the vehicle will be traveling 10,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 66 statute miles. Separation. There we see what appears to be a very nominal separation of the first stage. Beautiful separation there. It's a uh, uh, very clean separation between the upper stack and stage one. Stage one is uh, drifting, uh, drifting nicely away from the vehicle at this point. Bob's got good track. The, uh, the first of the upper stack attitude control systems uh, has been enabled. We're now uh, coasting uh, in a ballistic phase of the mission uh, until we've reached the proper conditions for uh, fairing separation and then stage two ignition. Four minutes, 35 seconds uh, into the flight. Interstage uh, separation should occur about five and a half minutes into the mission. And, uh, stage two ignition at roughly 330 seconds uh, into the mission. That's uh, about about T plus five minutes and 30 seconds. Kyle, there we see a graphical animation, but the telemetry is coming directly from the vehicle, which shows uh, the attitude control thrusters uh, guiding the vehicle at this uh, phase in flight. As Mike Dorsch reported, the next major milestone will be fairing separation. So just about 19,600 uh, feet per second of velocity. Looks like a very strong performance from the stage one propulsion system. And we're standing by for that uh, fairing separation upcoming here shortly. Again, we are we are waiting for uh, Antares to reach the proper conditions for uh, fairing separation. We have fairing separation. Attitude remains nominal. Stage two, stage two TVC batteries initiated. Interstage is separated. Attitude remains nominal. Stage two motor ignition. And that stage two uh, motor ignition occurred at an altitude of 116 statute miles traveling 9,700 miles per hour. Stage two uh, uh, will burn uh, for about uh, two and a half minutes until the eight minute, one second mark in the uh, launch. To their uh, maximum pressure at this point. Attitude remains good. Stage two TVC is operating well at this point. Attitude is nominal. Altitude is 225 kilometers. Caster 30 motor pressure is just starting to roll off the, uh, the peak operating condition at this point. Attitude remains nominal. TVC remains nominal. Avionics power is uh, very healthy at this point. Seven minutes into the flight since launch at 10.58 a.m. Eastern. Just under one minute remaining in powered flight. Altitude is now 250 kilometers. We're towards the, uh, the latter portion of the Castro 30 burn at this point. Attitude remains good. So as we can see from the telemetry directed graphical animation all systems are performing nominally T plus seven and a half minutes at this point we're just waiting uh, end of the Castro 30 solid rocket motor burn attitude remains good Standing by for stage two uh, burnout and orbit insertion. The Cygnus will actually separate two minutes after that, just after the 10 minute mark uh, since launch. Again, we should see motor tail off very shortly from the Castro 30. Kyle, at this point, the vehicle is traveling about 16,700 miles per hour. And stage two burnout. Attitude anometer. We're now uh, coast in uh, preparation for Cygnus payload separation. Now in a uh, uh, basically a short coast phase before that Cygnus separation, the orbital insertion altitude is 150 by 185 statute miles, or 243 by 299 kilometers. Uh, in, uh, for reference, the station is at an altitude of 261 uh, statute miles. So uh, Cygnus is in a lower orbit, which will allow it to. Uh, uh, catch up with the International Space Station over the course of the next several days.
And at this point, we're just uh, standing by for uh, roughly another minute um, before uh, payload separation. And if you like, John, if you like uh, telemetry, this uh, so far has gone uh, basically by the book. It looked very good so far. Yeah, everything seems nominal so far. What we see in the animation are the attitude control thrusters um, positioning uh, the vehicle. Nominal. Power systems look good. Should be just over uh, about 30 seconds away from Cygnus payload separation. Nine minutes, 30 seconds into the Cygnus uh, mission to the International Space Station. Another uh, 30 seconds or so before uh, Cygnus separation from the uh, stage two. T plus nine minutes, 45 seconds. Power is nominal. Still have good, healthy telemetry here in the uh, RCC. T plus 10 minutes. And we have payload separation. Kyle, the launch team reports successful payload separation. I don't think that that could have gone much better, but obviously they'll pour over all that data for a while. But uh, they've got a mission to perform now to head to the uh, International Space Station. That was a, just a beautiful launch. We're standing by now uh, for the sequence that will uh, deploy uh, the t twin uh, solar arrays to uh, provide Cygnus power on its way to the station.